new videos every day. Life Wisdom. Hey guys, it's Donnie. Today I'm gonna do a center splits video. So just go ahead and favorite it and follow along a few times a week and let me know how you're progressing. All right, so we're gonna start off actually in the butterfly position. So go ahead and put the bottoms of your feet together and you're gonna reach all the way up to the sky and down to the ground. And just hold it there for a few more seconds. So I've actually recently been thinking that I wanna do a scorpion video on how to do the scorpion. So just let me know if that would be something that you would be interested in and if there's anything else that you think would be interesting to learn about or learn how to do. And hold it there a little bit longer and itch up your hands as far as you can. And go ahead and drop your head down so you can get the full benefit of the stretch. And roll back up and press down one of your legs. And the other. And this is just to loosen up your hips. This isn't one of my benefits, so don't feel bad if your knees are up in your armpits like that. It's so normal. And now instead of reaching forward, go ahead and take your elbows and push down on your knees so that you're getting a deeper stretch in your hips. Hold it there for a few more seconds. And roll up, and now we're gonna move into the center. And we're gonna start on the right leg, so all the way to the sky and all the way down. Hold it there for a few seconds. And face your leg. And take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Just go ahead and walk around to the other side. And go down to your leg. Hold it there for a few more seconds. And now we're gonna walk it forward. Because this may be hard for some of you, it's totally okay to modify this by putting your elbows down and holding this position as so. And now we're gonna walk it back over to the right. and face your leg. And walk it to the other side. And face your leg. And walk it to the center. And this time I'm going to go all the way down. But once again, feel free to go back up in your elbows. And walk it back up. We're going to do this series one more time. So reach all the way over to your leg. And now face on your leg. And go ahead and walk around. Face on your other leg. And 
and walk to the center. And hold it there, inch up a few. And walk it back up slowly. And now I'm gonna move into the pigeon stretch. So go ahead and bend one of your legs and face the wall. And this is gonna be a huge stretch in your butt. All right, just go ahead and move down to your elbows. And this is really gonna enhance this stretch. I don't even think I needed to enhance it. I was already feeling it a lot. <laughs> Hold it there for a few more seconds. And walk it back up. And in order to target our hip flexors, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my back leg to my other butt. And you're also gonna feel this in your quad. And if you're feeling like this is too hard, then just stick to the pigeon and stay upright. And release. And we're gonna go down to the ground again. Hold it there for a few more seconds. All right. And now we are going to move into the lunge. So start like this and just hold it there. And really feel a deep stretch in your left hip flexor. And then straighten both of those legs. And really press your back heel into the ground to get a stretch in your calf. Then bend that back leg and stretch it. Bend that front leg. Stretch it, back leg, stretch it. And then back into lunge, and we're gonna face the front. And then I'm gonna move to the other side, so get ready. All right, and spider on over, and then we're gonna actually do the pigeon on this side. So go ahead and Stay facing the wall for a few seconds. And move down to the ground, rest on your elbows. I'm gonna go all the way forward. But don't feel bad if you're going up on your elbows. And I'm actually gonna go back up on my elbows myself. And now we're gonna take the other leg and pull it into our butt. Again, if this is too hard, just go ahead and stay put in the pigeon position. Hold it there for a few more seconds. And release. And we're gonna go down to the ground one last time. And then we'll go ahead and take a lunge. And just hold it there for a few seconds. And straighten both of those legs, push that back heel into the ground. Really feel the back of your leg elongating. And bend that back leg and stretch it. Bend that front leg, stretch it, back leg, 
stretch it, front leg, stretch it. Go down back into that lunge and face forward. Hold it there for a few seconds. Want to get a deeper stretch, go ahead and take your left elbow and push it against your back knee. And we're gonna walk over to the other side and we're gonna do that lunge series one more time. So go ahead and take a lunge. And stretch. This is gonna feel really nice on your hamstring, especially the second time around. And bend that knee. And stretch. Push that back heel as far into the ground as you possibly can. Front leg bend and stretch. And back leg one more time. Bend and stretch. Front leg bend and stretch. And go back into the lunge. And this time we're gonna put our back knee onto the ground. And similar to what we did in pigeon, we are going to bring the back leg up to our butt stretch and pull it into you and in this position you're probably not going to be able to pull it in as far as you did in the other position so this should feel really nice on your hip flexor go ahead and release and go back into your lunge I'm gonna take it back one more time bend that back knee Straighten, front, straighten, back, straighten, front, straighten, and take it to the front, hold it there, feel free to push on your knee, and take it to the other side, hold it there, and lunge and straighten both of those legs bend that back knee straighten bend the front straighten bend the back straighten bend the front straighten one more time with the back straighten and front straighten and go back into the lunge, but this time drop your knee. And just like we did on the other side, go ahead and wrap around and grab that foot and bring it into your butt. And release. Then we're gonna go back one more time. Bend that back knee and straighten front. Straighten, back, straighten, front, straighten. Take it back into a lunge and back to the front. And push on the back knee. And now we're gonna go back into the center splits. Let's see how we've progressed. We'll go over to the right, all the way down to that foot, and face it, and walk to the front, and go crawl around to the other side, and face your leg. and crawl around to the front and inch up as far as you possibly can. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a lot looser and more flexible at this point. And walk back up. All right, good work guys. All right, so to wrap everything up, we're gonna do some kind of cool down stretches. So we're gonna begin in butterfly, just like we started. So go ahead and just roll down and take both of your elbows on your knees and push them down. 
and just hold it there for a few seconds. And then take your hands out in front of you and stretch a little bit there too. Inch out those hands as much as you can. And go ahead and take your hand and push down your left leg. And your right. And go back to the center and push down both of your elbows. And walk to the center. You should feel a stretch along the back of your spine as well. Go ahead and drop that head towards your feet. And roll back up. And we're going to do that one more time. So to the right. And to the left. And back to the center. And roll up. And now so we're more in a parallel and inverted position from everything we've been doing. I'm gonna finish off with the pike. So go ahead and take your feet in front of you and reach up to the sky and go all the way down to the ground as far as you can go. Just go ahead and let go and release all your tension. And be sure to comment and post your progress so I know how you guys are all doing and how you liked this video. Hold it there for a few more seconds. Flex. And point. And flex. And point. And flex, and point, last position, and roll up. And to finish things off, I'm gonna end in a child's pose so you guys can just release everything and let go of all of your muscle tension. So we're just gonna go ahead and sit on your knees and place your head on the ground and then put your arms on either side of your body with your palms facing up. Hold it there and take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And then walk those hands in front of you. And take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And walk that back. All right, good work. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you benefited. Just let me know if there's anything that you guys would like to see in the future. As I addressed before, I'm thinking about doing a video on the scorpion pose, so let me know if you'd be interested. So make sure to subscribe to Psyche Truth and favorite this video and follow along again next time. Thanks. Like I said before, I'm thinking about doing a video on a scorpion. No, I feel like a scorpion sounds like a scorpion. I have to say like the scorpion pose or I don't know. <laughs> yeah.